Hello, welcome to Brenda's Brushstrokes and Bisque on April 30th, the last day of the month at 7 Central Time. So Courtney says we're live, so I guess we're live. So we're going to be working on our April box, which is our fairies in our fairy house. And this is what we're working on. So we'll put those guys aside. And then I do have a little sneak peek that I worked on last night and over lunch today. So for our May box, which Courtney will be invoicing everyone um, tomorrow, we have mushrooms and butterflies. And this will be an optional, um, if you don't want to do the red and white dots that we showed originally, which this will be the, this is our monthly box right here for May. It's our mushroom top painted painted with the red polka dots to look like the toadstool and then our base and then our two butterflies so that'll fit on there like that. So that's our May box that we'll be working on and that will paint up really quick. So I made an optional um, top. If you don't want to do the polka dots, we can do the crackle. We'll be doing the crackle effect as um, an extra like we did with the birds. So I base coated, base coated this white last night and then over my um, working lunch today, I painted on the, the Elmer's glue all glue and then the red. And so it's still going to crackle because it has to dry overnight. So it's not sealed yet. So it's kind of um, dull looking. Um, but that's the crackle effect. And we'll do that probably as our third class. So I just did the bottom with the red. But we have the um, crackle effect on this. So it's kind of cute. Different than the polka dots. If you don't like the polka dots, you can um, not paint the polka dots and wait until we do this. And then you can do this technique instead. So it's just a little extra technique. That we're going to throw in because the mushroom itself and butterflies will paint up really quick. So we'll probably do this on the third class um, in May. And then the fourth class, we will do the Nomis. Courtney can grab those for me. And I did have time to do the large, the bigger one with the, with the navy colors. But I have the other two here yet. <clears throat> so these this bisque is not included in the box. But um, you were able to purchase that extra if you wanted. Um, it's Nomi's in three sizes, and then there was a third one yet. So on the fourth class, if we have time, we'll paint one of these. And if you guys uh, pick if you want the red or the green or the blue, I'll try to have the blue one by next week so you can pick. Um, but you'd have to purchase this bisque extra, and we actually have a wait list going for the June box. Um, but everyone that ordered um, for May that's coming, if you want, you can paint along. Um, if you're getting it in the June box, you can just refer back to the video. The videos are um, saved. But this will be a uh, class doing, um, we'll paint one of these guys. You can decide blue, green, or red if you want to put in the comments, and then we'll pick which one. But um, you would have to purchase this extra bisque to be able to do that. And then it would ship in the box, either the May or June box. Um, if you're not, if you haven't purchased it, you'll go on the waiting list for June box, and I should have plenty for June. I have extra mold now when we ordered molds. So that'll be the, uh, extra for just an extra fun little thing to do because we'll have extra time. So that's it for the little um, show and tell. That um, um, the crackle would, would be shiny like that. It's just not sealed because it, I just crackled it at lunchtime. I like to let them. Um, crackle overnight because it'll crackle just a little bit more yet and then I would seal it with the gloss sealer and then it would be nice and shiny. So that's that guy. Um, you can do the dots or you can do the crackle. So Courtney will be sending out your invoices tomorrow if you're a subscriber or if you left, let us know you want an A box then you will have until midnight on the 4th and then on the 5th we will be shipping your boxes. Um, and then if you had any extra bisque or any extra orders that you paid for, um, those will be coming in, in those boxes too. So I think that's it for any FYIs. And we can go to our little um, fairy house here. Now we did our leaves last week. Um, now we're going to work on our doors. So I'm going to go to our bisque 
for Duncan Acrylic Opaques. And it's purple, OS452. You can put that in the comment link for us. I'm going to shake it up a little bit. So it's purple, OS452. And I just put a little bit on my, uh, this is my palette. You can use a ceramic tile or you can use a coffee filter or um, the, whatever works for you. That works for me because I, I can roll it up and throw it out. Excuse me. We want a dry brush, and we don't want a really big one, so we want one kind of area. So I'm going to use my artist paintbrush, um, my three round bristle dry brush. It's not too big, it's not too small. And to dry brush, you want a fairly dry brush. So you dip the tip in your purple, and then you want to brush it out on your paper towel. And some people will use a filter or a brown paper bag or a piece of cotton. I just use the Paper and now we're going to do our door and we want to be careful not to get it on our knot the knot hole and I want to go across the texture I don't want to go with it because I'm going to fill in my dark lines in the grooves of the door and we're going to let those dark lines in there so we have um, gives our door dimension I'm going to go back and forth and we'll start at the top if you have the right size brush you Control where your paint is going and not it all over too much. So I'm just brushing real light, going back back and forth basically. I'm going to go back and forth right across the very edge here and on, on my little braces and my window panes. And I'll try to avoid my hinges because we'll do those with silver. Let's give it a little bit here and dry brush away. The paint goes on really nice with these purple brushes. I'm really impressed with them. I'm just brushing back and forth with my dry brush to have a nice soft look to my um, door. Now, on between the knot and the, the doorknob, you can't really go back and forth. There isn't enough room. So just go up and down. That's fine, too. Sometimes you have to make accommodations. So we have a couple posts of painted fairy houses. Everyone's did a great job. It's really nice to see your faces and sharing them with everyone. So it was a busy week again. It, Thursday got here before I knew it. Pouring and cleaning and firing mushrooms and gnomes and woodland animals and had to get out the big fan to get greenware dried here today. So I took tomorrow off to clean so I can get the rest of it down here to Courtney so we can get it shipped. So we're just brushing back and forth across our texture, getting right up to the edge, trying not to get it on, on our um, knot. If you do, you can go back and touch that up with the medium brown. So tomorrow is my last day of vacation at work because I can't take any for the next two weeks on my last two weeks. Otherwise, I won't get paid out of the vacation I have saved. Well, that's kind of an interesting thing. Last day of official vacation. After how many years? After, um, Courtney says, after how many years? After 27 years, two months. I know, yeah, 27 years and two months since. Yep, you were, what, four? Four? So I'm just brushing back and forth with my my part here, and it's going on really nice. Gently brushing across my window pane supports. Um, if you get it on the black on the window pane, that's okay, or the actual glass part, you, that's okay. You can go back and touch it up with the black. And we're going to the edge of the door. 
leaving the black where the door or the knot uh, meet because you want that darkness there that'll give your door more depth and shape. You don't want to fill it completely in. You want that black for your shadowing and that depth. So let's see what else is going on. Oh, we have, we thought we were getting 4,000 pounds of dry clay and talc today, but um, it's stuck in Chicago and it looks like it's going to be delivered tomorrow because we'll, I'll be mixing my own slip going forward. So hopefully that doesn't prove too interesting and works out good. So I'm going to go up and down just so I can get instead of across the texture here next to the door knob just so I can get that purple a little, little bit closer there. And same with the other side here of the door knob. Oh, and we have even some molds coming on that order. Yeah, um, you. <laughs> yeah I... Um, did you see the last one that was on the crackpot bunny? <laughs> I forgot to tell you about that. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about him. I looked at the um, Cordy said, "Oh, I slipped them in." Like, well, was kind of a last-minute um, thing because the company we're getting the slip from, which is Ceramic Supply, and they're um, been super helpful and will help if I have problems with mixing the slip. But we can also order the um, Ciotto. Um, Donna, Duncan, Duncan and Doc Holiday mold, some Doc Holiday mold from them, some of the um, older Duncan molds. So the Maiden, Maiden Fire, it was called, and then Donna it was, they were the Donna molds before they were Maiden Fire. Um, so we can get those molds. So I, um, we had some molds that we did on a rescue um, that we needed a few parts for, so we ordered um, a raccoon arm we needed. Um, what were the other parts? There were three parts. I don't know, there were three parts that we needed. I can't remember what they were. Um, and then we got, um, the. it's called a dog shelf sitter that has angel wings but I make them into a Christmas ornament and it's really popular as a memorial ornament. Um, pet, yeah, pet dog. Molds. Oh, Cordy says 10 molds, pet dog ornament. And then we got the shelf, shelf sitter cat ornament with the angel wings on it. And we'll make, I'll make that into um, an ornament too. Um, the and then we added the crack pot birds. They're like, Oh, like four inches tall, three and a half inches tall. It's a set of six. Um, we have one, but um, it's fairly worn, and that's really a popular seller for me. So I did get the crackpot bird mold. So there's six different birds in there with little clay pots on their heads. And so now I'm going to switch to my back and do my panes on my back, just doing the same thing as I was in the front. Um, we're thinking about even maybe doing those crackpot birds as our January box. So if that's something you guys would like or not like, maybe post on the feed tonight and let us know. Um, you could paint them all as, as one type of bird, a cardinal or a blue jay or a, um, let's see what else, the finch, uh, the bluebird. I usually paint one. So there's six birds and I usually paint a, one as a cardinal, one as a um, blue jay, one is a chickadee, one is a finch, one is a bluebird. Is that six? So it makes a really cute little set of birds. Um, so we were thinking about doing that as our January bis box, the crackpot birds. Uh, maybe if I can get a set painted um, after I retired, we'll post it and you guys can see what, what you think. Because um, we do need to decide on our October, November, and December bis boxes. Um, October, we're going to focus on um, Thanksgiving fall because that would be for November then to have it done in time for November. Then our November box, um, we try to do a Christmas theme so that it's done in time for Christmas. And then December last year we did as 
um, snowmen because we're already into Christmas. So if there's something you guys think would make a good box for one of those months, maybe post what you think what, what you'd like. And then January might be the crackpot birds if you guys think you'd like those. Um, so what else? What other molds did we get, Courtney? Yeah, Papa. Bunnies. Oh, so then there's a crackpot. Um, there's the little bunnies, the boys and the girls, a set of three, and then three girls and three boys. And then there's the larger one. Um, it's like 10 inches, a girl, which we had, but we didn't have the boy bunny. So I did order him. So he's on there. What else? And we got the mitten and the stocking. Oh, that's it. Oh, and then we ordered um, two ornaments. One is a, they're Donna's. One is a mitten with a little face on it. And that, that's a really popular one too. But my mold is really, really worn. And then you can actually hold, put candy canes in there, the ornament too. And the other one is the little stocking, and that one could hold candy canes too, or and or just be an ornament. They're really cute and they're really popular, but our molds were really, really worn. So it's um, nice, nice to be able to get um, those as new molds. There's actually a right and a left mitten and a right and a left sock. Um, so those looking forward to be able to have nice, fresh molds. So we can get the Donna molds and the the um, Starlight which is the Scioto, um, a lot of them. So they have a lot of that and some of the Doc Holiday. So it kind of opened up um, some opportunities besides just um, the clay magic for our BIS boxes. So that should be kind of fun. So I'm just working my purple here on my little crossbars on my um, back window. But if there's something you guys think you'd like in, in any of the old companies that, I mean, there are older molds, so they, they some are pro probably out of style, if, like if they're the softy things or, um, but some people are liking them and they're kind of making too. So if there's something you guys, like something, if like 10 of you post, oh, we really like this in this box, we might consider it because like if that many people like suggest one of the this might be a good thing for the business. I mean, of course, it's got to meet certain requirements that we know behind the scenes, but we'll we'll check into it. I mean, it's got to fit in the box, and it's got to be the mold has to be in a certain price range, and um, probably not too many attachments and things like that. So we have our purple on our front and on our back. Panes there. So now I'm going to take my um, Duncan acrylic stain my OS 450 lilac Courtney OS 450 lilac um, also well, we have a question why I didn't paint the window pane first because it's already it's already it has the color wash of the, of the black brown on it and I'll just use one of my little um, brushes to um, get real close and touch it up so it's really, it really don't need much painting. It just needs a little highlighting. So I'm by lock OS 450. And I just need a little bit to highlight my door just a little bit. And I'm going to use my same dirty brush because it already has the paint lilac or the purple in it. But I'm just going to work my lilac up into it and brush it out good. It gives us a nice gradual change of color instead of a real abrupt change of color. So I'm just going to... Go real lightly across, across and just highlight it just a little bit. And that just gives it more um, depth and make so it doesn't look like just a flat door. It makes us feel like the crack pot more. They told her that we have lots of Yeah, we do have, Cordy said that Tammy likes the crackpot molds. We do have quite a few crackpot molds. Those were um, one of the things I always watched for when we were um, mold digging. We have snowmen, um, angels, pumpkins, ghosts. pumpkins, ghosts. What do we have? Ghosts and bats. Ghosts and bats. We have the bat crackpots? Oh, okay. 
I mean, there's there's some we don't have. I know that. Um, but like we don't have the snails or the gnomes. We have a tree. We have a tree. He's supposed to be on a certain spot in the garage, but I haven't been able to find him. Um, yeah. So just a little bit of highlight on our um, door, and now I'm going to do just a little bit on our pane here in the back, the little um, braces. And then we do have um, our last two molds. I mean, we have a whole U-Haul load that we didn't get to um, catalog. We really um, got those in the dark, and you kind of notice a few as you're loading but we didn't looked at most of them <laughs> that was a get it now or don't get it thing so we just got that highlighted a little bit with our um, lilac so now let's see i'm gonna look at my directions and now we're gonna dry brush rust on to our ladybugs and i want a little brush for that so i'm going to use my um artist paintbrush my size one flat and this is actually the one that's coming in their box for May. So this will actually be your uh, May extra in your BIS box is this APB Artist Paintbrush, your size one flat. So I'm going to grab my Doc Holiday Rust, and you could use Duncan Rust if you have that. Courtney, that's DH28 Rust. And it's just going to take a drop because I think I have two ladybugs, and I'm just going to um, grab a little bit in my brush, brush it out. And I'm going to have to turn around so I can brush on him here. And I'm just going to brush across him because I want to let that black in that crevice. Um, so anytime you want to leave your black in your crevice, you have to cross it instead of with it. So we're, and I like to use my rust as a base for my red because it just helps um, the red come in a lot um, easy as a hard color. Um, that um, a mushroom top with the crew like almost four the bottom because I didn't use the rust first because it had the white um, to get the white crackle um, so that's it helps the red come through a lot easier and better and brighter and we'll go back and forth across this little guy up here And I'm just using a, the little one flat because it's just a little bitty area and I don't need a big old brush to get rust all over my leaf. And we'll go back and get a little more on this guy while that, that one's. So going across, actually, that left our black in our crease, in our crease, so that's what we want. And now we'll come back up here. I do have a lot of the June box already poured, so hopefully I can um, get cleaning that right away and get a sample um, done so you guys can see what the June box is going to be a little bit sooner than it's been because I've been working and doing this. and. Once the 15th gets here, it'll be just this. Woohoo! <laughs> and now we're going to go to our Duncan Real Red, Courtney OS483. Duncan Real Red, and I want to give it a little shake. 483. 483 Real Red. Uh, what was the question, Courtney? Uh, Rufus said she never uses flat dry brushes, only the rounds are any is good. Okay, so we have a question that um, from Rufus, she never uses the black or the flat um, dry brushes. She only uses the round. Are they as good? Yes, they are just as good. Um, like this is such a little area. I could use use the round one too. Um, I didn't use the flat ones very much, but I've been using them more and more. I, I do like them. You can turn them on their on their side, and you can get a really narrow 
area and being that this ladybugs are so little that's why I grabbed the flat around number one would have done just as good um, but the I use those flat ones a lot on the little um, fairies because there's little little dainty areas and because I can turn them on their side it just worked really well so I'm it kind of depends on what you're dry brushing and what your area is if you want round or flat they work just as well and you like you can turn it and get it in in those little those little areas because it, it's a lot narrower so I do like it for that so we got that done and let's see what's my little next directions we did the ball styluses but I think we'll black on our little ladybugs Let's see, I need black and it pull black out so we're gonna get our Duncan OS 476 black Courtney OS 476 black and it's just gonna take a drop and I'm actually gonna use this little um, rust colored brush the black will take over the rust or you could switch to a new brush too if you have a lot of brushes. Um, so I'm gonna. So now I'm actually turning my brush to use that that narrower side because he's got just this little head, and I just want to dry brush that head a little bit. I don't want to really paint it because I still want my black and my the shadowing and the creases that the color was left. And now we'll get the other little head. So I'm not using the wide part. I have it turned on its on its edge. So I'm using the little skinny part. So the little fl the flat brushes do have their their use. I'm just dry brush, and then we'll come back and do this one a little bit darker here. And come back and do him. Alrighty, so we have that. So now I'm going to grab one of my ball styluses, which you guys would have gotten this in your January box, the set of three. Huh? Um, yep, if you don't have the the ball styluses, you can use um, like the, the tip of your, your paintbrush also works. So I want a little in that one. I don't want the big um, You can also here are the ball styluses from Brenda's Brushstroke and Bist.com. We have them on there as well. So um, the January box has a set of three in it. So this is what would, you would get if you ordered it. Ordered it. You have the small, two small ends and different. They like go up in graduation into big one. So we're going to use this middle size one. And I'm just going to actually I, maybe I'm going to go back to the little. little. No. Sometimes you have six sizes and you still don't like it. We'll go back to the middle size and I'm just going to dip it into my black and I'm going to add my little dots onto my ladybug dot, just holding straight up and down and touching the, my ladybug. And you can um, control the size of your dots a lot easier with the ball stylus. And you can add as many dots as you'd like. I don't want to overdo it, but that one's a little small, so we'll make it just a little, little bit. And then you want to make sure you don't put your hand in your dots because those do take just a little bit um, dry because there's a little more paint in there. That one got pretty big, but we'll just leave it. This happens when you're talking. So maybe we'll make the other ones just a little bit bigger so they're more the same so you can and re redot them and you just want to dip back in your black and re so that looks pretty good this one in front here is a little small yet so we'll make that one a little bit bigger and now we'll go and do our other one I guess I don't know if the ladybug dots 
dots are all the same exact size or if they're all different or different i'm not sure no me either Cordy says she never that one that close me either so i guess it isn't that big of a deal oh i got a big one again i don't like that We'll make the others just a little bigger so that one doesn't seem so obvious that it sticks up. Alrighty. I'm going to wipe off my stylus. And now my instructions, what's next? Okay, we're going to go, we'll do that same, let me see. That's how you can dot the eyes on your snail as well. So I'm just following along with the instructions because I don't know if some of you are. Huh? Show them what? Oh, so this was the instructions that were in your um, little packet in the BIS box. And I'm just following along. So if anyone's doing that, that, that I'm in, in this order and any old way that I want to go. Um, so we're actually like that was number 11. And then we did 12 with the little stylus dots and then. Um, we got the head black, and now we're going to go to our little ladybug, and we're going to um, go with goldenrod. So now I have our OS491, Courtney, goldenrod, Duncan, OS491. And we're going to get a little drop of that on our palette. And that's not mixed up enough. I have oil. So when you put your paint out, if you have, um, I can see where, where the there's like a water line or an oil line. So that's not mixed up well enough. So I want to shake my paint up better. So we'll put a new drop out. And now you can see the difference, hopefully. So this first has like an oil line through it. And this one is just nice, nice color, so that you want a nice solid color. Um, let me see. I'm going to grab a new brush. You can get that line on my little snail. And I'm going to flip my paper towel around here. Actually, I'm just going to grab a new one. So I have my golden rod, and now I, I have one of my Royal and Lane Nicola brushes. It's a size 5 round, and it's a bristle brush, too, a boar brush. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of my golden rod and brush it out. And I'm going to put that, actually I could have went with a smaller brush the way it looks. It's just going on his little face and his antennas here. So this is a case where the brush is a little too big for the little area, but we're going to make it work. I'll just brush real light. No. I, th I thought I was doing the snail part, and I have to do the head part. That was my fault. I should have grabbed the smaller one. I thought I was doing the big nail part, but that's turquoise, so we'll, we'll get it. So this is a case where this brush is too big for that little area, so that's actually a good um, thing to show you guys. But I'll just use the tip of it, and it'll, it'll work. But a, a littler brush would have been a lot better because it's a little area. So with this big... I could end up with my golden rod all over the place, but I'll brush real light and just the tip so we'll be all right. But a brush half this size would have been a lot better for that little head instead of the big brush. But I was doing this, the bell part. That's all right. Brushing kind of back and forth and getting the, the little body part as the golden rod and his little head and his antennas. Stab it in there real careful so I don't get golden run all over. So Courtney has um, spring a lot down here than I do. There's trees blooming and daffodils blooming and green grass. And I'm only I'm away from her only. It make, really does make a big difference with the weather. 
everything's pretty brown by me yet. Okay, so we got that here. So if I had a little littler or a little closer but to the indent there, but we'll make it go. I'll just brush real lightly and Alrighty, and now we're going to our deep turquoise, and Courtney will put that in a minute. She had to step out, so it's OS468 deep turquoise. We'll give her a minute to put that in. I want to shake this up really because they've been sitting all week because I don't, I leave these here and take them home with me. Um, then they get mixed with my stuff at home, and I don't know what's what. So we have OS 40 deep turquoise, and we'll get a little drop of that on a thing. And now we go to our, our brush, and I'll probably just use rod one. I think it'll be yeah. Or you can switch to a new brush if you have a lot of brushes. So this is our deep turquoise, and we're gonna. Um, brush our snail so we, we have to change as we're going because we want to go across our texture and I can't just go down because over here I'd be going with with my crevice and I want to go across it so you kind of have to brush around it and I'm just brushing back and forth but I'm making sure I'm going across my um, crevice stem turn it to get back and I don't really have crevices the back side of my snail so I like to do those strokes or comma strokes because nice smooth air that just puts the paint on a little bit easier I really had a day little peaky you mine are just peeking out of the ground So Cardi said we have a question. Was base coated in black? No, we use the did we use black or do we use black brown? We color washed it with black, meaning that we used a 50/50 black with water and painted um, areas about six by six, and then we used a, a damp sponge and wiped the high areas off and let let the color down in the dark areas. So that would be on, on the first video. video so you can always go back and, and watch what we did. They're under the video tab on Facebook, but you can also go to uh, YouTube, Brenda's Brushstrokes and Bisque, and Courtney has them on there as well. The first one is so bad, the audio. Oh, so Courtney said the first one um, from this series is not on YouTube because the audio was we had um, bad internet at, at some point we will re-record re that and then she'll post it once I'm um, a little extra time here with not working the two jobs in this and working but it might be a little bit because we got some catch up to do with orders and things but yeah the vet otherwise the videos are are on the Facebook video our Facebook video tab or on YouTube so I'm just doing my little C strokes and working my dark turquoise on my snail um, shell, working it close to the tree um, bark, but leaving the black in the crevice so you have your shadowing. And we're just going to work it up a little bit closer there. A little wet when it goes on shiny it's um too wet you want to brush that brush out and you want to change your directions while you're looking at it because now i can see that this bottom part right here i missed it so i was looking at it from the top down
I'm just brushing out my brush and I come onto my piece and I just brush back and forth or you can do your C like a comma smooth area because the, the goes on it up just back back and put right in So Cordy um, says we have a question. Are there? So Connie asks, are there specific brushes just for dry brushing? Um, yes, the, the boar bristle brushes. So boar, like a pig, a boar. Um, B o a r. Yep, they're or hog bristle. They'll call it a hog bristle too. H o g. Um, so it's a natural hair. It's a bristle brush. They're a little bit stiff. Some some brands can be stiffer than others. So this royal this um, this love the royal same brush. These are a lot, lot softer, so they can be from different hairs from parts of the hog. Um, so I just grabbed this one because it was, was the skid. Um, so there are so for dry brushing, you would not use your round your your nylons. Um, this is a nylon brush. Meaning the hairs in it are made of they're synthetic, though that would not dry brush. brush. Want the um, the nylon brushes you can use for painting out. Let's see, say I wanted to paint um, paint out the um, silver on on my doorknob. I, I use the paint this for painting dry brushing. So the dry brushing you want the boar or hog bristle brush because they're they're stiffer. And and they are different than the stencil brush that you would buy like at the Walmart. Um, the stencil brushes are going to be um, straight straight across or domed. They may be domed. These are kind of round rounded. are different brushes for different things and you would want the four bristle brushes and they come in round and they come in flat and that the round and the flat is basically for different areas that you might be doing so we got our little snail nice and um, deep I'm going to do our Duncan OS 469 court, the light turquoise. And we're, we're going to add up and we're going to highlight our little on our snail. And we'll just need a drop. And I'm going to use my same brush because the it's already in it and it'll give us a nice grab change. Mm -hmm. It's light turquoise OS 469. Again, I want to brush across that texture. So I'm just brushing across my texture to highlight my, my shell. Brushing out my brush on the towel. And we'll highlight the top of our shell. You want to leave um, so the deep tur turquoise showing because that gives you your gradual change in color. And, and you want to think about it as the light would be shining and it would hit this area more. It wouldn't be hit back there. So it hits the higher parts and where it hits the higher parts, you want it lighter. So we want it lighter on the top, top of the shell here and kind of around. And then you want to gradually fade it out to the deep toys. You don't want a, a stark line where it really bright light turquoise and then dark turquoise. You want to have a lot of light turquoise and then less light turquoise. So it's a graduation of color. And it would be darker here because this part of the shell would be shadowing um, the bottom. So we want to have less of the light turquoise down here, but we want to have more up here because the more light hitting up here.
So that's our highlighting of our little snail. So hopefully I can turn it and you can see it's darker here through here because there would be light hitting there. And I'm going to put just a little more on the very center part of it. I want that a little lighter yet. A little more of a difference from here to the a lot of the light would be hitting that there. Okay, so we got our little snail all highlighted. So what do we got next? We are on our number 16. We're on to our um, dry, which is going to be our navy colors. So I got those pulled over here. And now we're going to go to our OS460 Duncan Courtney. OS460 Duncan Courtney. So I'm going to shake that up good. I'm going to turn my little palette around a little bit so we got I'm not reaching into the wrong color. OS460 Navy. Courtney says our audio is jacked up. I'm guessing that's because of the internet or what? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my same brush. It's a good size brush, and the navy's darker than the toy, so it'll just blend right in. So I'm just working that into my brush, and I'm gonna brush it out so it's nice and dry. And now I'm gonna dry brush my entire dragonfly with the navy, and I wanna, I have to change my directions because um, the we have the lines going this way here, but we have our little body shape going there. We'll go this way with our driving here, and we'll go this way with it over here. So you do have to change your direction sometimes. And I want to be careful when I get down to the edge so I don't get my leaf all full of navy, but I do want to let the black between the and the leaf, so you only want need to bring it down a little bit. And that's going to help make your butterfly stand out. So that he's not just flat on the leaf. So we have a question is by Connie is brushing only for bisque or can the technique be used on other surfaces? It's basically used mostly on bisque. You can um, sort of dry brush on your other pieces say using um, more of the concentrated underglaze, like the easy strokes, you could dry brush a little bit to highlight. Um, you really can't dry brush to the extent on other, with other, like you can't with glazes or with the, um, or the underglazes so much. It, it, it just really don't work like it does with the, with the bisque because like a glaze, you need three layers usually of a glaze in order to cover. So you really you don't use the dry brushing, so to speak, with your underglazes and glazes. You, you could underglaze a piece like my turkey platter. I underglaze that. And then I did use the easy strokes, and I came back and highlighted, added a little bit of blending colors with the, with the one stroke. But you're really not dry brush, so to speak, like you are on, on the bisque pieces. So I hope that makes sense. So dry brushing is basically for this, but you, you can use it a little bit with, with the other stuff, but not, not to the extent that you can with the bisque. So I've turned him around now and I'm doing my back of my wings. 
And these are smoother back here. So I'm just doing my little C strokes again because that just goes on better for me like that instead of the back and the forth. And I'm nudging it right up to my vine. And I start away from it and I just slowly go towards it and I'm not, then I can see where my color is going on so that I don't get it on my vine. And you want to get all all angles of, of that wing in, in on the inside and on the front of it here. And so now I have a nice layer on the back. So I'm going to go back to the front because the front will have dried now. And I want to get the front of this wing here and bring it right up to my um, my little vine leaf. And, and I again, I start away from it and I just slowly nudge towards it. And that way I can see where, where it's going on without getting it all over my leaf. And I am looking more here so it's darker. So I want that coloring, start coloring closer up to his body. So my wing has more color to it. It'll go from the black to the navy to the medium blue to the light blue. And we need a little more navy. And I want to turn him and get on his end on the inside here. And I want to look down in here and get it. You want to get it down in there too. And then we want to look at our little, um, his little body here of his tail. We kind of forgot about that. But we'll, again, I'm starting on that wing and close to the and I can see where my, my navy's going without getting it all over the leaf. Now we'll come and do his little body. You could switch to a, a smaller brush if you wanted to this area, but I'm just going real gentle and I get what I need. Just nudging in there little by little, not going real fast and a real lot at a time, just a little bit, and I can just nudge it right into that crevice. And we need to get in his underside there. And his top side. And we're going to turn him, and now we got to get in here. We've got a nice white area with some color on it. And then we'll nudge up along his little body up to the there. And now I want a little more blue along the bottom of this wing, so we're going to turn it that way. So you do have to turn your piece so you can get your color where you need it. There's green on my wing, so I want to get that covered up a little bit. And again, you could switch to a small brush if you're more comfortable doing those close-up areas with a little littler brush. But I just go slow, and I can see where my color is going. Get these wings a little more. Get the top of the wing. And we want to get the head a little more. I can see a little bit of lightness in there. I can see green on my head over here. So we're going to work away, nudging over there and covering that green up. So Cordy says our audio is not sounding so good. Maybe we'll have to quit at this point and pick up next week. Maybe we can start earlier. What, did it start out better and got worse as more people got on the internet? Or so we got our TV on. He's actually um, almost done. Let's see. All we have to do with the silver on our doorknobs and all we got our mushrooms. I forgot about our mushrooms. And we need to go over um, to get the girl and the boy 
done, we can do that because we'll have extra time. The mushroom is going to go really quick, so we're not going to worry about that. So should I do the medium blue on it, or is it that bad? We can't. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, let's just do our medium blue quick, and so I have our medium blue OS four five seven, Cordy OS four five seven medium blue, and I'm just going to put that on the tip of the wings and a little bit on his head, and I'm going to use my same brush. brush give us a nice graduation. Again. And I do, I want him fairly dark, but if you want him lighter, you could do more. So I'm just going to do it on, on the tips of the wings. And then I'll have it more on the tip and then less as it goes in. So it's just the tips, basically. Just nice and soft. Just dry brush it on, on the tip so it's on the tip and then less as it comes in. So it has a nice soft look to it. Oh, so it must be the internet then. Or Facebook. Or Facebook, yeah. There's so many people on this um, with so many people being home. I would think with summer coming, it should get better for everybody being outside. There should be less people on. So I just laid him down here to the back. I want to get the tip of the back as well. Again, I'm doing more at the tip and less as it goes out. And I want to switch him around and look at him. So what are we doing time-wise? It's 8 o'clock. Well, it's pretty good, though. So I want a little more over on this one. And down the sides, just a little, little bit more. So he's just got a nice, soft look to the tip of his wings where it's hitting it. And then I'm just going to brush a couple times on, back and forth on his head and body here. To highlight it a little bit. I still want a pretty dark body. I don't want it real light. Oh, so some thinks it's because of the new update. Because well, we that's going to sting. We, uh, they'll, fix it. they'll get it fixed yeah. eventually. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. So hopefully they get it fixed if they notice that that's a problem. Okay, so we got our dragonfly pretty much done. He'll just need his eye black, and then we can, um, after he's sealed, we'll put a brush on glitter that's in your uh, part of this box extra. So I kind of like him right there. He's good. So if you want um, to do homework, you could do your rust on your mushrooms, and then you could do the real red. And the stems were, let me see, see where were the stems? They were the light brown with some ivory on them. And then that, that will actually be done. And then we will start with our boy and girl next week. So um, they'll take a little bit. We might have to go over, um, do an extra class, but that's okay because the mushroom is going to go really quick. So we'll probably we have a um, little problem with the audio tonight. You can also do the very top of your stems with a little bit of the ivory that will make it look like the... When you break a bun, there's usually the green you know, the brown, and then the inside meat um, or the, the part the where the nutrients flow through. That's going to be a lighter color. So I, I did that with the ivory. So we could do, do that too next time. So I think that'll be good for tonight. Make you wash out your brushes good always. I use my brush cleaner pad in my water, and I just brush back and forth. And that take all that paint out of my dry brushes, although they're still stained, but that's okay. Then I dry them, and then I let them lay horizontal 
vertical until they're dry. And they can go vertical in your container. Um, you want them horizontal to dry because you don't want that water to get up inside your ferrules and let, let the glue loose. So is that all we use tonight with those two? That's good. No, we use a little black one, I think. So we just brush back and forth on there, and that cleans them out really well. So I think that's it for tonight. So here's your finished house and your girl and your boy. And we'll run our girl and our we'll finish up our house next week and we'll start on our girl and our boy. So oh, and you guys can't see it because I don't have it in the screen. So there we go. We gotta adjust it here a little bit. So that's what we're heading for. We're almost there. And look forward for your invoices tomorrow. Um, if you have any questions, you can always message us about those. If you want to add anything on, Courtney can take care of that. And we'll get them shipped to you on Tuesday. The post office will pick them up Wednesday. And they'll be out, and you will get automatic tracking numbers from the shipping that we use, the software, the pirate ship. So if you get that email, that's your tracking number to track where your package is at. Um, so I guess everyone have a good week and stay healthy and enjoying because it's on its way. Have a great week. Bye, everyone.